let us look at this problem uh, the un, uh, ungraded 0 1 we had this one question we have to find IO so this was given to you as an exercise very few of you uh, submitted the video uh, of the attempt anyway let us solve this and please have a look at how you are supposed to solve op-amp questions, op-amp problems. So once again, we know this is zero. There will be no current flowing into the op-amp. So no current flowing through this resistor. So no voltage drop here. So we get zero volt here. So this is at zero volt as well. This is at zero volt. This is at zero volt. This is at zero volt because these references are connected together and this will be at one volt because this is a lower potential side of the voltage source the higher potential size therefore would be one the this one volt basically says that one volt will be across this voltage source so if we have zero here it is one if we had 1 here, it would be 2. If we had minus 1 here, this would be 0. So this should be very clear. So we have 1 volt here. We have 0 volt here. We can very easily find this current. And we have 0 volt here. And we know a current of 0 0.5 milliampere is flowing in here. We have 0 volt here. We have 2 volt here based on the same logic so we can we, uh, and let us say the voltage over here is v1 and let us imply a node voltage analysis method and write a node voltage equation at this node or let us say we apply kvl here so how would we apply kvl at this uh, inverting input pin we are going to write 0 minus 1 over 2 k actually and no current flows here we know because of the ideal op amp characteristics so let us write the uh, outward current for this branch so just like in a nva 0 plus 2 minus v1 over 17 so plus 0 plus 2 minus v1 over 17 and then this current the outward current is 0 0.5 this current is in milliamperes and we have not been writing k's here so this term is in milliampere this is current in milliampere 2 this is current in milliampere 2 and all we have at this node basically all this is one node we have one two three current bearing branches so we have three terms here and this is equal to zero now you can see there is only one unknown in here and we can find what is v1 so for example we have minus 0 0.5 here plus 0 0.5 and plus 2 minus v1 over 17 is equal to 0 so this cancels out and we get 2 minus v1 is equal to 17 or v1 is equal to minus 15 volts so we got v1 equal to minus 15 volts We don't know what this voltage is. We don't know what this voltage is. We don't know the current flowing uh, this resistor. So we cannot uh, know the drop across this resistor. So we cannot find this. Although we, we have found this V1, but from the information of V1 alone, we cannot find this voltage. Let us term it VO. However, luckily, we know that we know this current 
we know this current and now we know this v1 we can find this current as well so there is 0 0.5 milliampere coming in from here and this current i let us label all of these so we know i1 is 0 0.5 milliampere this i2 is to be found then we can find this let us call this i3 so i1 is 0 0.5 milliampere i2 is look at the direction i2 is the same thing this one i2 is 2 minus minus 15 over 17 or 1 milliampere so by applying kcl at this node we can very easily see that in the directions that we have used to mark for i1 i2 and i3 i3 is equal to i1 plus i2 i3 is equal to 1.5 milliampere so i3 is 1.5 milliampere so i3 comes in here now we can very easily find this voltage across this 5 kilo ohm resistor and therefore we can find this vo so v1 and a drop of 5k into 1.5 milliampere current is going to give us vo or in other words we have minus 15 and a further drop of 7.5 is going to give us a VO of minus 22.5 volt. VO is minus 22.5 volts. V1 and V2, VO are basically not to be found. What we need to find is IO. So if we apply KCL here at this node VO, we can very easily write minus I3 plus IO plus vo minus 0 over 0 0.5 vu we need each term to be in milliampere so this is 0 0.5 k is equal to 0 minus i3 minus 1.5 plus io plus vo is minus 22.5 over 0.5 which gives io equal to 1.5 and this goes to the other side and plus 22.5 half uh, the double of that actually is 45 and we get io is equal to 46.5 milliampere